As courts of limited jurisdiction, federal courts can only hear cases authorized by the U.S. Constitution or by Congress. In 1875, Congress granted federal courts subject matter jurisdiction over cases arising under federal law. This kind of jurisdiction is often called arising under or federal question jurisdiction. In Franchise Tax Board versus Construction Laborers Vacation Trust, we examine what makes a question federal. Four construction associations paired with a union to establish the Construction Laborers Vacation Trust. The trust's purpose was to ensure that workers received adequate paid vacation. Its governing agreement protected funds from third-party liens or levies. The trust was subject to federal regulation under the Employee Retirement Income Security Act, known as ERISA. California's Franchise Tax Board was a state agency charged with collecting income tax. According to a state statute, the board could order anyone holding property belonging to an indebted taxpayer to fork it over. Pursuant to the statute, the board issued three taxpayer levies against the trust, totaling almost $400. The trust balked. The board filed suit against the trust in a California trial court. The board's complaint contained two causes of action. First, the board asked the court to enforce the levies because the trust had violated state law by failing to comply. Second, the board asked the court to issue a declaratory judgment about the party's rights. On the one hand, the board argued that the trust's noncompliance violated state law. On the other hand, the trust argued that it lacked the power to comply because ERISA preempted the state statute. The trust succeeded in removing the case to United States District Court for the Central District of California. The District Court ruled in the board's favor, but the United States Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit reversed. So the board appealed to the United States Supreme Court, which granted cert. 